That's so cool. You're going crazy. You can smell it all. Look at the size of this clam. I, uh, I don't think you're supposed to be on this side. One of the most difficult fish. There he is. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. As you saw in the last video, this tank is riddled with Aptasia. I can see all of it. I'm not gonna show that right there. Cause that is some stuff that you will see in the next video. I got some new corals and we've done some housework around the house. If you know what's missing, then you're gonna have to watch the next video. In this video, I'm trying another tactic to tackle this Aptasia. And that is gonna be, is to get a copper band butterfly. Now it's a fish that's very difficult to keep. And a lot of people, I usually don't recommend trying it, especially if you're a beginner. But in this case, there's a lot of Aptasia in this tank and I just need to get ahead of it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go to the store. We just got our fish shipment in. So I'm gonna go see if there's any copper bands that look good that are eating. If this video comes out, that means I found a copper band that's eating. If this video doesn't come out, then that means that we didn't have any good copper bands. So let's go to Top Shelf Aquatics, the place that I work, of course. And let's go see if we find any butterflies. This little guy was eating. I promise, I saw him pick. We have three little copper bands, but this one was actually eating. So he's gonna, he's coming home. There he is, there's a little guy. This acrylic's super scratched up, but beautiful little copper band. Like I said, he was eating frozen, so hopefully he eats Aptasia, because I need that desperately. Okay, so I haven't, fed my fish frozen food in a while, so I'm gonna kinda show you what I usually feed. Starting off with roe. Again, there's not a lot of fish. It's really just for the copper band. We're gonna be roe, some mysis. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw some phyto in there. That's more for the corals. A little TSA reef genetics. So this all goes into like a little blend and a bottle with some RODI water. Now I'll also be feeding mastic, but I do have a container at home already. And then also just a little clam and a half shell just so he picks at something. There's some artipods in there as well. And that's the copper band, get them to eat. I think I'm gonna grab one of these two, the pouch feeders. That's also another great thing to help with copper bands eating. Um, I, think, I think I'm just gonna throw the mysis in there, maybe a clam in there as well. Because copper bands in the wild, they're not really eating out of the water column. They're more picking. So again, that's why they eat Aptasia very well because it's in the rocks and that's what they're picking at. In captivity, you gotta, if they're not going for the Aptasia, then you gotta make them go for something. So they're gonna get all the frozen food in that pouch. Right, Alicia? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> Once again, here is this ugly, horrific Aptasia Aquarium. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, I threw a bunch of Bergias in there and I haven't really noticed a difference. In fact, I think it's just getting worse and worse. And instead of waiting for those burgers to possibly reproduce and properly take advantage or take hold in this tank, because again, I don't even see the burgers anymore. The Aptasia looks the same. I'm gonna hope a copper band does something. It's not my first choice because it is a difficult fish, but it was eating at the store, which is my one time I'll ever buy a copper band. Only thing I'm nervous about is that the A cans look super fluffy and happy and I don't want that to change. Look how extended these Ghanis are. Definitely gotta clean this tank up because this thing is getting neglected once again. But as you can tell, I have a bunch going around in this house. But let's get this copper band acclimating real quick and then we will put him in a tank and hopefully something happens. There he is, or she, not really sure. We're gonna let him sit in here a bit, add a little bit of the tank water into here and then we'll release him into the aquarium. Now while the copper band's acclimating there and I'm chasing the cat away, I'm gonna try to get this near to work. I'm gonna put it in some fresh water, soak it in some vinegar or hydrogen peroxide and hopefully it unclogs whatever's in there and works. If not, then I gotta get a new one in. Oh, that's money. Now I'm gonna try to re-glue my leather in the meantime. It's kind of cool as you can see, there's two babies that popped up from when it ripped off that are starting to grow. So I'm gonna move him a different spot so they have plenty of space for all of them. But oh my God, the more I look in here, just the amount of Aptasia is just disgusting. I'm gonna have to be careful because one, I don't know if she's gonna bite me, but two, I just saw the pistol shrimp right there sticking his claws out. So when I go to grab this thing, I gotta make sure not to get snapped. All right, we got the leather up top, re-glued. I also separated the Ghanis just a little bit because they're starting to get really close together. It's kind of hard to tell. But dude, stop with the freak. This is why I gotta get a second tank. It's so bad. Uh, I'm gonna take some razor blade to the glass here real quick. One second. Now also, I can't find my drip acclimator line, so I'm just doing the old scoop and pour. As long as you space it out enough and do little increments, it does the same effect. There's motion in the ocean. I had to run it with the screw and like force it to go, but it's going now. So I'm gonna leave this in here for a bit, let it just kind of go. 
let it circulate all that hydrogen peroxide in the water and try to knock as much of that crap off as possible. But at least it is running. Now let me grab the razor blade so I can actually clean this tank. Now I don't want to get my hopes up too much. This isn't the first time that I had to go through this process with this Nero, but I'm hoping maybe this time will last a little longer. Really don't want to have to buy a new one. But if I do, it's the name of the game. So like I said, I'm gonna take a razor blade, clean up some of these edges and I'll show you. I, uh, I don't think you're supposed to be on this side there. Look how amazing the Colorado looks. The color has definitely come back a whole lot. It's also getting size now, all the tentacles. Do you see these two over here? I need this tank bad, but it's definitely on just all, just an all. All right, I had to separate him. She was just being, just tearing him up. I just can't see it anymore. She's also the one that's gonna be leaving. So let her get used to the enemy because I am going to move the Colorado with her to the other tank. That'll be my NEM tank. So, but she's just, just the worst. Okay. Like I said, she is separated. I got the Nero going. There's flow in the tank for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually turn the Nero off for about 10 minutes. Go eat some dinner. And then, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put the copper band in, let him kind of settle in, let it investigate a little bit in the tank, and then we'll turn all the flow back on and we'll show off the final product. There he is, or she looks pretty clean-ish. I don't know, it's a small copper band. This is, you know, it's a copper band. So I don't wanna get everyone's hopes up. This is probably my third one that I've tried. I had maybe fourth. I had one that was, mm, it was doing so good. And I don't even remember. I had a fish that liked to dig or something. Something dug underneath the rock structure and actually toppled the rock structure on top of the copper band. I came home and it, it was just, he was basically gone. That was the best one I've ever had. This guy was eating at the store and there is plenty of plenty of Aptasia in this tank for him to eat or she to eat. Hopefully, hopefully, he likes it. Did I turn? Oh, I didn't turn the Nero off. Whoops, sorry, dude. There's a lot of flow for him. We'll let him settle in and we'll come back in a little bit. Now I'm watching him from a distance. He's definitely investigating. I don't want to be sneak up too much. I promise he was investigating around there. There are Artesia over there, but it's a little close for comfort of the A-cans. So we'll let him keep, keep going. He's got plenty to explore in here. He's coming up to say hi. Look, he's definitely investigating. See, he's searching all around. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flow back on. Hopefully it works. Hopefully that's not too much flow for him. Uh, it's definitely working. All right, it's the next morning and we have an alive copper band. He's back there chilling right now. The lights are just turning on now. Um, you can see the gun just start opening back up, but he's back there. You can see the glass is a lot clearer now that I cleaned it off. The leather is nice and happy there. So we're gonna let him settle in for a bit. But for now, we're gonna go ahead to work and see if there's anything to film there. We got some pretty cool fish in right now. So I'll show you what we got in stock right now. So right now we have these tiny, tiny black tanks. I don't know if you saw on the other side, but there's two of them. Look at the size of this clam. Also got all the yellow tangs in here. This thing's huge. We got big tough. These guys are so cool. These are feather starfish. See if I can get one to swim. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. That's so cool. So we just got off of work. We're gonna do some cooking. Now it's not gonna be for me. It's gonna be for the copper band. I'm gonna show you guys kind of my fish mix of everything. Let me set this camera up. Clearly that wasn't the spot to set it up. Let's try one more thing here. Perfect, okay. So I got a cup of um, RO water in the solo cup. 
and then I'm going to use it to fill this little bottle here. So let me grab my ingredients. Let's see if you can see all that. Okay, first step, we're gonna take our mice's shrimp, pop in the RO. Stuff's pretty, pretty small cubes, so I'm just gonna pop like four of them in there, be good. We're gonna take some roe, and we're gonna remember to take the film off, give it a little shake, make sure all that roe is nice and loose. Couple, couple splashes. Now we got the arthropods, couple splashes of that. And we're gonna take our Fido. Again, this is not really for the copper band. This is just for, it's not for the copper band. It's just kind of overall for the tank. Nice green color, just a little sum sum in there. And I have a clam here as well. I'm just gonna take one out for now. And this I'm just gonna throw right in the tank. So I'm just gonna let it come down here. He's hiding back there, so maybe he'll come and see it. Now, I definitely made <clears throat> way too much as that solo cup is basically still full. Uh, I think next time I probably just won't use any RO water and just use all the Fido, but let's, let's give this guy a try, see if he'll come eat. So, definitely got the mices into the tank. Let's see if he comes and eats. The starfish are coming out, you can see. They're going crazy, you can smell it all. Guys look great, but I don't really see this guy going at much. You know, he's still adjusting, but definitely a little worrisome. See the pistol shrimp's even coming out. Look how color, I mean, that's why I don't want to get rid of him. He's so pretty. Both starfish, definitely put on some size. Dude, go eat. It's really moving around, all this food in there. This clown's actually hosting in this Ghani. This one's got a crazy pattern on the head of it. Both of them are just so sick. Bet you're a lot happier with her in the box. She's in jail. Where is she at? There she is in the corner. Oh my God, I need to do something about the Septasia. Look the colors, look how bright it is. So pretty. Now that all the kids are fed, dogs fed, cats fed, fish are fed, it's time for me to get fed. I got a nice steak, of course. You know, you know. If you want to stay updated with a little more of day-to-day -day stuff, follow me on Snapchat. The link will be down below. I'm trying to grow that as much as possible. I post on there a bunch. So definitely go and check that out. But again, I appreciate you all you guys watching. I appreciate you watching to the end. Let's cross our fingers for this copper band. Again, it's a copper band. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. It is one of the most difficult fish to keep in the hobby. It's one of the fish that I go back and forth about whether it should be even in the hobby as it is so difficult to keep. When they come from Australia, they are really usually really hardy because Australia has a lot more regulations in how they collect. It's a lot more humane process, but that fish is also three times the price and usually way bigger, unfortunately. So it, was, it just wouldn't work in this tank. My go-to thing for Aptasia would be an Australian stripey. They have been MIA recently, so this is what we got. So again, don't get your hopes up, I'm hopeful. It's just hanging out back there for now. So we'll see. And I guess we'll find out in an update on the next video. So if you want to see what happened with the copper band, make sure you hit subscribe, turn the notifications on, and I'll see you next time.